few important things that I want to talk about before this weekend comes upon us. And more importantly, before the end of the year is nearly right around the corner. Important to listen up here because these things are going to determine how quarter one of next year is going to happen. Now, before we get into all this important information, first and foremost, if you're in the States, happy Thanksgiving. And if you're not celebrating Thanksgiving, that's fine. Happy Black Friday. And if you're not interested in that either, you're a caveman, hates shopping, hates food. That's great as well because it's Friday and the World Cup is this weekend. Chant of USA and England are going on today. A lot of big things are happening. So if you're not celebrating, you're not out and about, the least you can do is like, subscribe, and comment down below about the progress that this channel has done this whole year. Thank you all so much for everyone out there watching, subscribe, and liking. We really do appreciate each and every one of you. I normally stay away from the drama that's going on in Solana NFTs because we know there's a lot. We know there's a lot of prepubescent individuals like Frankie D. Gods, Shill and Villain, Iced, all these guys that haven't got laid yet, but are trying to show off their cocks over on crypto Twitter. First and foremost, we got Iced. A lot of drama surrounding Iced in the last few days. Reason being is because his notorious profile picture was up on sale on Magic Eden and it was finally bought. Not only did somebody buy it, but they also burnt it as well, which created this whole meme of a picture that was trending for a moment over on crypto Twitter. Now, of course, if you don't know ICE, this probably isn't a big deal for you, but the reason why we're bringing it up is because not only is it fun to laugh at an influencer like this who's heartbroken, but at the same time, this was also trending on Twitter as well, which is funny to see. Now, obviously, I'm joking because ICE is actually a notorious person that's over on uh, Solana NFTs. He was one of the big names that really created some kind of attraction for this whole ecosystem and space. So with all that said, of course, ICE is going to be just fine. I mean, look at him. Beach background, ripped physique, cigar in the mouth. Can't get better than this. So yeah, let's not grieve too much on ICE knife over here. Now, let's not let this distract us from the main news that's going on in less than 24 hours. And that's going to be the mint of Clanosaurus, a project that we've talked about plenty of times on this channel. If you don't know already, it's minting out tomorrow. The whitelists are all done. There was a little bit of drama with the DAO and everything, but we're talking about a triple A animation NFT that has taken the Solana NFT ecosystem by storm. It's the only big dog mint that a lot of people have been following, not only on Solana, but on Ethereum as well. They've been following for months months some even up to a year that's how long this project has been building bull market or bear market we've talked about this spe specific nft collection on this channel for roughly three four months right now big nft collection that's going on 30.8k followers all genuine followers no bots on this a lot of mutual followings 27 it looks like and the names are continuing to grow i mean if you're not bullish on the artwork at least understand that the an animation on this collection is no joke. We showed this teaser previously on the other episode, but guys, when you look at these dinosaurs going to war, going to bat, head to head, volcano erupting in the bat, you can't get better than the Clanosaurus mint that's going on a 10,000 collection with a mint of around roughly 10 Solana. Check out the Discord if you want more details. They're representing everything. People from Ethereum, from Aptos, Solana, you, whatever blockchain you name, they're talking about Clanosaurus. Jump into the Discord to find out more details about it. As I said, a little bit of drama is going on right now in regards to DAOs and whitelists. But nonetheless, the, this NFT collection and the people backing it is no joke. And the last thing I wanted to touch upon is going to be your ABC collection. Yes, yes, similar to the gods, similar to Utes. ABC has been spewing out of my mouth for a long time, but for good reason. Because not only do you have HDE.Soul, who's the founder of this collection. Not only do you have the open DAO, who's part of this whole ecosystem. Not only do you have an AMA generated maker that is HadeSwap that's connected to the ABC collection, but you also have the Hades token, the Hades token, which is coming down the pipeline. But you also have a big announcement coming shortly, November 3rd, 
roughly five days from now that Haiti Slot Swap is going to reveal. A lot of people are speculating on what this could be, but no one really knows until the big announcement happening November 30th. So to stay tuned on that, follow Haiti Swap if you aren't already. Hit the notification bell for more information on what's going to be happening, especially when the announcement reveals real time. So ABCs is one of my big top five of the NFT collections that I've been watching very closely and hoping to make an entry point when the macro level news starts picking up. By five collections, I'm talking about ABCs, The Gods, Utes, Solana Monkey Business, and Blocksmith Labs. Five NFT collections that we repeated over and over again on this YouTube channel. If you've been watching this channel for a long time, you know my reasoning behind each one of those. Founders, teams, vision, roadmap, builders and community, everything that we look for for an NFT collection, they're checking all the boxes. I'm watching very closely on the price action of those NFT collections to make an entry point. As you know, when Solana was around $32, I sold everything because I knew what was going to be happening with the FTX collapse and the contagion effect. And I'm also following at Crypto Capo, who's nailing it when it comes down to this TA analysis. I'm no TA expert. I'm really no expert on anything. All I do is come on the show, put on a hat, and spew whatever whatever my opinion is on these cartoon pictures. But Crypto Capo is not like that. This guy understands TA better than anyone, in my opinion. And from what he's calling lately is always spot on. And he still seems to be a little, be a little bit bearish, and so I'm backing that as well. With Ethereum and Bitcoin still looking like a bull trap, I'm not making an entry point quite yet. Looking at the charts now, again, no TA expert, but we see three candles and all of a sudden we get a little bit excited. I'm not going to fall for that trap, not yet at least until I see a little bit more bullish sentiment. Now, of course, you got to look at Bitcoin and you got to look at the S&P 500. If you think that this was the bottom for the S&P 500, then maybe if you think 3,500 was the bottom, then maybe we are in the clear and up to all new all-time highs. We don't know, obviously, but there is an argument for that to be made. These prices right now for these NFT collections are definitely at a buying opportunity. But is the USD dollar for Solana going to drop 50% lower or not? That's the question that everyone's asking. That's the question we have to answer ourselves. And personally, I won't make an entry point until I have a clear understanding of what the answer to that question is. That's everything for today. Clearly, still stepping back, same mindset, same idea, and same thesis on the market right now. Claynosaurus is going to be minting soon. Definitely check that out if you haven't already. And also, I'll be seeing you in the secondary market, hopefully to snipe myself some Claynosauruses. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Friday, and take care.